How's it going guys, Nintendo enthusiast here. So a lot of people are upset about the new Switch OLED model. Many were expecting it to be a massive leap forward in terms of the power and performance of the hardware, especially because the rumors ahead of the announcement claimed that the next Switch hardware would have an enhanced processor and output at up to 4K resolution. Now obviously that wasn't correct, at least not with the next Switch that's coming to market. And I'll admit, this new Switch model is disappointing to me. I was expecting a big upgrade, but it turns out it's just more of a slight upgrade. That said, I'm still excited about the Switch OLED model, and I'm definitely still getting one at launch. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you why. Let's jump in. First and foremost, if you're like me, you got a Nintendo Switch at launch in 2017. However, the base Switch model actually got a version 2 in 2019 that was pretty much the exact same, but had a much better battery life. This new Switch OLED model is going to have the same battery as the 2019 model. So for someone like me who got a Switch at launch and is finally upgrading to a new model, the 2-3 to three hour battery difference is going to be pretty significant and I'm actually really happy about that. Next up, it's time to talk about portability which is the biggest difference with this new model. The Switch OLED model offers a bigger screen at 7 inches, almost a full inch bigger than the original Switch, and also has an OLED screen, of course, and improved sound. Now, unfortunately, in portable mode, the screen still only outputs at 720p. However, I do think the OLED aspect alone is going to make a big difference. I absolutely love the original PlayStation Vita that offered an OLED screen, and in many cases, it looked like the handheld was outputting in HD, but it was actually only 544p. But the OLED just made it look so crisp, the darks so dark, and the color so vibrant. So I'm actually really eager to see how the Switch looks with this new OLED screen. I think games are gonna pop a lot better, and hell, even streaming stuff on Hulu is probably gonna look better. Which might be rare, but I actually use my Switch quite a bit for streaming video. Another thing to mention about the portable experience is the improved sound. Now obviously this is something we won't be able to hear until we got the Switch in our hands, but the fact that Nintendo is marketing it, talking about its better sound, makes me think it might actually be a significant difference. But I guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. But either way, the Switch OLED model is going to offer a much better portable experience. But that's not the only reason why I'm buying it. I honestly love the new design of the dock. Yes, I know, it's just a dock, but I like new hardware, and I was never really fond of the original dock. It just looks a little basic, you know? And a bonus on top of that are the new white Joy-Con that go great with the new white dock. And another thing to mention about this new dock is that it offers an Ethernet port. I know it's not groundbreaking, but it is useful, especially for someone who plays a lot of Smash Online. I'm honestly surprised I never got the USB adapter that allowed you to plug in an Ethernet wire, but now the Switch OLED's coming out, so I don't even have to anymore. And I'm pretty excited to have much better connection with my Switch, because we all know Nintendo's not necessarily great at its online functionality, so having that wired Ethernet experience is definitely going to enhance the experience if you're playing online. Now, there are a few more reasons why I'm getting this OLED model. First off, you can use most of your accessories that you used on the original Switch. And that's a really big deal for me. I absolutely love the Split Pad Pro Joy-Con. I'm really happy that this new Switch should work with them. I don't see why it wouldn't if the original Joy-Con can latch onto it. The Split Pad Pro should be able to as well, which is just really nice and convenient. I love that companies are doing this now. Xbox allows you to use all of your Xbox One controllers on the Series X and Series S. Now PlayStation on the other hand, for some reason I can't use my PS4 controllers to play PS5 games, and I think that's pretty lame. So I'm glad that all of the accessories I have on my Switch are going to work on this new Switch OLED model. Now these final two reasons why I'm getting a Switch OLED model are sort of just me things. First off, my current Switch that I got at launch in 2017 stopped reading SD cards entirely. So I've been using the 32GB storage to play all my games, which means I'm deleting a new game pretty much every single week to replace it with another. And that's been pretty awful. Luckily, I've also been using my kids' Switch to play my games, but I'll be glad to finally have a Switch that has more than 30GB or so of storage, because that is pretty awful. And a little bonus, this new Switch OLED model comes with 64 gigs internally instead of 32. It's still not a lot, still not great, obviously, but it is better than 32. That extra space could fit like two to three full AAA games or a bunch of indies. So yeah, I just think that's pretty cool. And lastly, I have two kids, so when I upgrade to this model, of course, one of them is going to get my current Switch, even though they already have a Switch and a Switch Lite. I'm sure they'll take another, and it's always nice to just have backup hardware and to just keep your hardware. If there's one thing I regret over the years, it's selling all of my hardware whenever I needed money. Obviously, I had to because I needed money, but nowadays I don't have to do that anymore, thankfully. I'm just definitely not selling any of it anymore. But yeah, those are my reasons why I'm getting a Switch OLED model. I'm really excited about it. 
Obviously, it's not the big upgrade everyone was expecting, but it is still an upgrade, and I'll be excited day one to download a bunch of games onto it, see how they look with the new OLED screen. I just love opening new hardware. It's just so fun. Makes me feel like a kid again. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Do you plan on picking up a Switch OLED model this year or in the future, or are you completely against the idea? Let me know everything. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.